Well, greetings, Bob. Thanks. It's a great honor to be with you. You asked me to speak about why geography matters. First of all, I think it's important to talk about what geography is. There's a bit of a misunderstanding in the general public's eye and even the eye of educators sometimes in what geography is. Oh, geography, Bob, I had that in seventh grade. We memorized imports and exports of Peru or the state capitals. Facts are important to geography as in other disciplines, but facts do not equal geography. Geography is all about how people interact with the earth, how the earth and the environment affects people and how people affect the earth and the environment. So it's a human environment interaction kind of a discipline. It's also a discipline that cares deeply about space and place and patterns, relationships and trends. So geography is really about the earth and its people. Geo meaning earth, graph meaning to describe or write about the earth or understand the earth. And so geography is incredibly relevant to our 21st century world. This gets into why geography matters. I just have a few reasons to share with you, Bob, and your listeners and your viewers about why geography matters. First of all, we have a wonderful dynamic planet Earth, don't we? It's, as far as we know, rather unique in the vast universe that we, that we can see at this point. We've got an incredible diversity of plants, people, animals, oceans, soils, landforms, climate zones. It's an amazing planet. And so geography is really quite relevant because we want to understand the world that we live in in order to make smarter decisions about the world, how to build a more equitable, resilient, sustainable, healthier, happier planet. Really, that's what geography is all about understanding the world and then using that understanding, that knowledge, those skills to build a better world. That is geography. And geography is incredibly relevant to the 21st century problems that we face, natural hazards, biodiversity loss, ocean acidification, population change, water. Look at the United Nations Sustainable De Development Goals or the SDGs, right, Bob? They are all about geographic themes education, water, health, those are all space and place related. They change over space and time, which is the essence of geography. So geography is incredibly relevant to the problems that we're facing and key to solving those problems, in part because geography is a holistic understanding of the world. Geographers are asked to understand the whole world and to make sense of it. That's a tall order. And so it's good. Geographers and people with geographic knowledge specialize in soils or climate or population or public safety or something else, supply chain management. Those are all good to specialize. But geography has always been about a holistic understanding of the world, looking at cycles like the, heart, the hydrologic cycle or the carbon cycle or spheres, the ecosphere, the biosphere, the lithosphere the anthro or human sphere. So the interconnection of all those spheres that you're altering a variable in one sphere, it affects the other spheres. And I would also say that geography is important because it gets students in the mindset of being critical and spatial thinkers, which all organizations need, public, private, academia, nonprofit, business, government agencies, et cetera. They all need people that have those abilities to solve problems, think spatially, think critically. And again, the applied nature of geography is something appealing to me also. As a geographer, I use geotechnologies daily. Space, spatial statistics, remote sensing, geographic information systems, GPS, and other tools. And again, the goal is to chart a more sustainable future. So that's geography and why geography matters.